Okay, so welcome back to yet another episode with me, Worst Gamer Chilling. Sitting here, down in my basement dwelling, taking it easy, as usual, leaning back, having a uh, pop, popsicle, soda, <laughs> something to drink, or maybe a glass of beer, but not now, not today. Uh, we're playing Starfield, and this girl has booby trapped. Whoa, what the hell is that? Grasshopper? Dude... I don't like that. Yeah, let's continue. Sam, don't you want to help me? She put mines, mines here as well? No? Okay. Let's get this door open. She probably sealed it. And we can go into this mode. Now we're open. More mines. What's this? Cobalt. Oh, robot. My sensors are picking up on suspicious damage. All systems. Hmm. I wonder what sort of robots are scurrying around here. Going this way or? Pack. Roanoke, that's the in the general direction where our ship is. Model A. To the victor goes the spoils. Cosmetic. That right, right? Okay, that's a cutter. Don't think I'll need cutter. So what has she got planned for us? Well, I would want to take the elevator. That's faster, but I don't think that's a smart option. So let's try the stairs. There are no mines just yet. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a place for a seance. Not once, if you hear us, spirits. No? Seance? Are you religious, Sam? What? Okay. I can see a bug over here, right? There we go. Don't like those. If we would have taken the elevator, we would have gone down there. Wait a minute, what time is it? Oh! Oh! Structural bone. Shit, where are they? It's okay, I took care of them. That one got away. One got away? No. I got him. Uh, heavy part of the fuse. Okay. Let's save. Because I'm going to screw up. Eklund site. Okay, that seems like a nice place to be. Eklund site. So we got ourselves a med pack there. Could we do anything here? 
Maybe this one. And then that one. No! I screwed up. <laughs> Come on, it's a novice lock. Uh, I should be able to do this. Uh, let's see, I need three. How, how will this make any sense? What? Wait a minute. Okay, if they go there, these guys could go there. Yeah. Okay. Open door. Which door? Careful of the uh, the security systems. Why? What's gonna happen? Take some extra load. Scalpel. Nothing special. Just mining shards. Which door did we open here? Whoa! Who's throwing that? Is that her? That one is dead. Was it you? Who threw a grenade? Oh, I can put this one on friendly patrol. Update friends foe. Recalibrate. Remote combat inhibitors. Activate units. Now he will be friendly, right? What's this? My sensors have detected possible enemy activity. I will investigate. Possible enemy activity. Here's another robot. Kind of freaky. I think we're going this way. Okay, probably was this door we we opened. Yo! Okay. Keep on going. Not that way. Like those creatures. Probably she's in this hut. Or 
No, that's where she's leading us, at least. Could she be down there? Bomb pop reactor, okay. Microscope, so best. Nothing there. Nothing special. Okay, so wh where do we? Where's the beacon pointing down? Can we go down? Okay, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna try. Cause I don't know if it were just heading straight down or this seems quite dangerous but it might be this way where are you going <laughs> he just jumped off where is this leading activate yeah, okay. There's an airlock. So, we're not... Oh, someone died here. Or got injured. Did you pick? What's this? Storage unit? Expert. I'll go with one of these. <laughs> and now we'll go with this one and yeah we can do this it's the easy route I hope you find something good yeah me too here we go med pack oh look at this harvest organs Come on. Well, I have to remember to sell it first. Otherwise, I'm gonna get in trouble. Ah! Yeah, let's save. Damn, she's sneaky. A lot of mines. Well, I hope this place is tectonically sound. I don't like those. that much ammo so I'm 
might use this one if I can. In yeah, okay, let's just grab it. Heavy particle. Ammo crates. Some more ammo. So, are we going with the elevator or are we running down there with this path? I think we'll take the stairs. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's bad. I wonder if I can see the mines clearly with my... Oh, we need to jump. Yo! Oh, oh! What the? Damn, so many. All you. Someone else? Turret. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's taking up a defensive position. Whoa. Down. We're going up. Okay. Just wondering if there's things to explore. But, yeah, okay, we're going up. Frame. I don't think I need that. What are you shooting at? Oh, there we go. No. this to work for us then is this a elevator no no I can't go there to go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna save again to be a bit on the safe side. You might want to stow some of that. Just a suggestion. Yeah, I know. 
Thank you for the suggestion. Yo! Whew. It, it didn't do that much damage, but anyway. So, she's probably gonna stand around a lot of mines or something. She'll try to... Uh, <clears throat> divert our focus. She's not here? Yes, there she is. My uh... It'll take more than that! <sighs> talk to her. Can we talk to her? Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. <laughs> this must... The first must have a base. Where is it? That's, the, that's what we were hired to do. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. What? Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No! They did nothing. NOTHING! Ah. What, what would the farmers do? Well, now they can die. Just like most of our unit did. Uh. <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Why? Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. Yeah. We've got a base, a good one, too. Spend months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is. <laughs> You're going to have to figure that out on your own. Of course I ain't. What kind of fool would be eager to die? You. I'm just not stupid enough to deny what's inevitable. I wish I were. <sighs> How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. Uh, I'm not leaving until I get some information. But... Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Well... Okay, I got a slate. So, I give it to... I don't get it. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> no signal. Come on. You need a signal? Can I... 
look through your stuff. See if there's something useful. That's the elevator. Okay, I see. You have a diggy pick? No screwdriver. You have a toilet? You have everything you need here. So I'm letting her live. Looks like it. Can I... Can I shoot? Maybe I can. I think there is anything useful up here. So we're taking the elevator. As long as she doesn't betray us and try to get us killed from here. I thought this was an elevator. That's the way back. Now this guy is friendly. But who killed that robot? I didn't do it. Berserker. Please drop some of that. I'm hurting. Just moments like this are too few and far between. Pots with the robots? No, no robots. Nothing. Can I open these? No. Locker. Emergency kit, take a pick. Let's pick this one. Oh, it was open. Top floor. Okay, we're back here. I see. So we're going back and trying to get that uh, slate picked. Or deciphered, I mean. But first, you know what's first? First, we go and sell our stuff. Because I need to get rid of this uh, harvested organs. Kind of despicable. Dark. Done. Another perfect job, just like you planned. Dan acknowledging incoming hail. Dr. 
docking bay one is free. Come on, let me board. It's at 1,300, 1,200, 1,100, 1,000, even closer. Come on. Okay. About 500 meters, they'll let you dock. I bet Cora's already finished the pre flight checklist. That's my girl. How may the. May I be of service? Yes. I hope we have what you need. I'm gonna sell the. Uh, wait a minute. Resources? No. Miscellaneous. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't have any credits. Have I been here recently? Before every new Atlantis. Okay. I have to cut this part out. This is tedious. Okay, so we're uh, Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband. You could be on your way. We're going to get the slate decrypted. Scan or... complete. Go ahead and land. So we'll just land at Aquila. That's the slate that she gave us. That might lead to their the first actual base. That could be useful. Sorry. Fight won't always be there. Aquila City is always up. Okay, we're getting tired. But I I don't have that much on me. Let's talk to Hadad, Hadid, ha, ha, Hadu. Yeah, he's just up straight. Better this than being some dust wrangler on Montaro. Just making my way. Here we go. Helga says Not I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How yeah. do you like the job so far? It's pretty good. That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? <clears throat> Hot shot. <laughs> How's your progress on cracking the first? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Yeah? Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Oh! Got some money, some XP. And we could... 
go for our next part of the mission, which is, it's not that one, uh, it's this one. Go to the Red Mile. We are going the Red Mile, Parima. Okay, have I been there? Go to the Red Mile. Hmm. Don't know if I've been there. They. It's not UC Colony or Free Star Alliance. No, wait a minute. Known vessel, prepare to submit to. Wait, I know him. He's the one that helped on Altair Two. This is Captain Young. Please acknowledge. Nice to see you. Okay. Busy risking your ass for total strangers, huh? Uh. We what? were furloughed on New Atlantis for some R and R. Just got our orders that we're shipping out. No idea exactly where. They like treating us Marines like mushrooms an awful lot. Kept in the dark, and <laughs> you know the rest. How are you? <laughs> no. What? Uh... You are one of the strangest creatures I've ever met. A oh, veritable yeah? anomaly. Do I have to? <sighs> Fine. Private Psy says hi. No more passing messages. Decora, Marines. <laughs> so, command signed off on our unauthorized training mission. Sadly, lost some men, but training accidents happen to the best of us. Okay. I stand by it. You'd make a hell of a Marine. But, I, I uh, am. Damn proud to know you too. Command's shipping us off to parts unknown. But would you accept the final parting gift? Oh. It's a nice thought, but the galaxy's a big place. A lot of good people owe you their lives. Maybe one day some of us can return the favor. Myung out. Did I I got a rare item okay <laughs> thank you very much this seems like a <clears throat> kind of a ice planet so and they called that the red line How would this be the Red please, Mile? Please tell me you aren't going to run the Red Mile. What is it? What is the Red Mile? Extreme cold. Let's see how cold it is. Minus 18? That's not extreme cold. That's what we usually get in the Christmas uh, winter period. On a real winter, uh, the last couple of winters been very, very warm. Hello. Go ahead, start some trouble. Give me an excuse to air you out. What? You weren't very pleasant. That one is just looking for a fight. For the Red Mile Bloodsport thing. This used to be a decent place. Now... I got some kind of... Structure... O occupied cave? Structure... 
Okay. Yeah, I could use some warmth. For some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, Stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. <sighs> Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up. Go outside and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. <laughs> I can't wait. Unless you want to be on my bad side. You better back off. I'm not in your face. Is he going in? Why did you walk over there? <laughs> okay, sir. Maybe you should... Can you believe that? Like I'm gonna run off without paying. The hell kind of scum do they think I am? Well, I don't know. If only there was something else like this in the galaxy, so I wouldn't have to deal with the staff here. Well, I don't know if you were trying to skim them or scam them. Okay, so this is a club. Touch screen to learn more. We're gonna need to negotiate new terms for that. I already pay you more than a fair wage star. And I pay on time. Every time. In fact, I pay top dollar to ensure that you and your crew are better off. But if you're not satisfied with the conversation, I'm sure I can find other members of your outfit eager to take your place. Maybe. Or maybe I could call them up myself and see how they feel about taking over Red Mile and leaving you the burdens of management. I'm sure we could find ways to bolster the profits here. <clears throat> oh, you're welcome to try. But I have friends in high places. You wouldn't want me to have to call them up here. See, I think you're all tall, mate. One of these days, I might just call your bluff. Okay, I sense problems. Uh, <laughs> this could be interesting. She seems like a criminal. So. Hey, back off. Hey, wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. That's right. My problem is that I don't want to be saddled with a rookie deputy. That is who you are, right? We'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring and I'm about to take a very important meeting. I wouldn't take that personally. Probably just having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Sam Co. never thought I'd see you again. Can't say I really want to, either. Not after you've turned your back on the rest of us. I did what I had to do, and I'm at peace with it. If you're gonna hold a grudge, that's your problem, not mine. I wouldn't count on Sam here to have your back, Deputy. He's likely to disappear on you just when you need him the most. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't have the time to babysit a rookie. Uh...
because I've trained new recruits before, and it's not an experience I want to repeat. <sighs> I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Yeah, let's go. I'm at a critical point in my investigation, and frankly, your presence here is an unwelcome complication. Now let's just get this over with. She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. Okay. Follow me. That's a kind of unpleasant All attitude. Welcome at the Red Mile. We don't ask too many questions. Yes. What? How are you, dear? Here to bask in my oh. glory. Is that Donovan Reese? Damn. Guy's a legend. He's run the mile more than anyone alive. Get back with a drink from the barn and enjoy yourself. Come on, so you're working Sit. with Autumn, huh? Who are you? <laughs> What's up with all this bad negative attitude? A woman who's growing increasingly impatient, that's who. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Uh, Rangers do this practice. That's a threat. Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. <laughs> and we can't have that. Uh... If you think this gives you some kind of leverage, you're wrong. Sure, oh, he yeah. might slow me down for a while, but a little competition won't break me. Are you sure? Because it might get a little awkward if my sister here had to arrest me. Sister? That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet, because you want something. <laughs> I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Uh, yeah, I can help her with her security problem. Uh. May's the key to this whole thing, but I don't know her. Maybe try to get on her good side? Yeah, yeah, of course. She's the owner and manager here. Inherited the place when her husband was killed. I know just the thing to do. I can be very persuasive. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how what? she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Runners? Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. Oh. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. Come on. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. 
Someone who volunteers to run the Red Mile, a deadly stretch of terrain just outside the cantina. It's infested with hostile creatures, and few people survive. The ones that do earn a reputation. Yeah. The Red Mile is incredibly dangerous. I just don't want to see you take a risk like that. All right. It's your call to make. Planned this out real good, didn't you, Jade? <laughs> Free Star Rangers do the dirty work, and you get rid of a rival. Don't forget the part where the Free Star Rangers get to bring down a big time criminal while your deputy friend here gets intel on the first. Seems to me like we're all getting something we want, thanks to my good planning. Okay. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? Well, Are we going to take on the mile, huh? No, right, I don't. Let's get don't, back to that bank vault. I don't think I will. I will actually try to get her. Oh, there are so many sticks here. <laughs> I want to take these. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, where, is, where is she? Here, over here. I think I can help her with something else. This place used to be a real dive, but things are looking up. Whether you're here to gamble, participate, or just watch, the Red Mile has entertainment for everyone. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Uh, oh, let's rectify that then, shall we? You will not find a more exciting blood sport in all the settled systems. The Red Mile is an exciting and deadly oh, race to the finish for the galaxy's bravest champions. Those that manage to complete the course win fame and fortune. Those that don't are never heard from again. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Uh... open-ended question but I'll do my best Red Mile was once a notorious haven for the criminal underworld thieves shipjackers mercenaries and smugglers would come here to do business get drunk and gamble I cleaned the place up when I took over I made it if not quite a family destination at least a safer one Red Mile still offers a unique exciting experience but our clientele has improved considerably and we offer a wider range of services. Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing you're so funny, Reese. Because I see the potential for Red Mile to become one of the most unique and popular travel destinations in the settled systems. Because I want to leave a legacy and be remembered for creating something as unique as it is lucrative. Or perhaps <laughs> it's because like so many runners who come here to test themselves, I relish a challenge. I suppose there's no single reason. Let's just say that I feel it's my calling. Okay. Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. Yeah. <laughs> You're too precious! Yes, of course they bet on our runners' lives. We're outside of the colonies and free stars for a reason. Betting is a huge part of the Red Mile's appeal. How better to make the most exciting sport in the universe more exciting? 
Repeat runners draw bigger bets. You should ask Donovan how much bets on him were worth before he was forced to retire. Okay. Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Mile is a spectator sport, after all. Most people don't complete the course, so this is a way to give those unfortunate souls a proper send-off while they can still appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for of the information. Course. And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. I'll be glad to sign you up. Oh man. So, the game wants to wants me to run? Or what? I was fortunate to be born into a wealthy family. I used those resources to build an extensive network of contacts what do you across want? the settled systems. Suffice it to say, I had to call in more than a few favors, but with patience and perseverance, I was able to realize my vision. And now, at last, Red Mile is truly a must-see destination for any who wish to experience it for themselves. Okay. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Uh... He's funding a mercenary company that's fluttering farmers. Work for him, no? Yes, this is not unknown to me. His association with the first is troubling, to say the least, and that trouble could find its way here. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Oh, come on. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Mm. Uh. Keep, better keep your end of the bargain. Other oh, agreement? I'm afraid this oh, is come the on. only thing that I want from you. At least for now. Oh man, they, they're gonna make me run the red mile. Can't believe this. Uh... A simple journey through a wilderness occupied by creatures that some call dangerous. Some call dangerous. I give you my word, which is something I never do lately. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets for my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. Okay. Can I bet on myself? I'm afraid not. <sighs> but I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. <laughs> sure. Uh... That's what every runner says. I wish I shared your optimism. The mile's very real. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm Good. ready. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Let's do this. Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. I hope you're enjoying all the fun of neon plus betting on whether people are going to survive. Yeah, these people are total winners. Your attention, please. Valued patrons and honored guests. For one brave soul, the hour of things. Yes. A runner has come to test the Red Mile! Now is your chance to get a good look at our fearless challenger as you contemplate your wager. Do you see the fire in those eyes? What is that if not stealing determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show! The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower to see the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, runner, and see if you can survive the mile! Okay.
So I'll save it. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm going to do the the running in the next episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I kind of have to end it down. Uh, good luck. Okay, thank you very much. So I'll, I'll do the mile in the, next, in the next episode. This is the 24th episode. So in the 25th episode, I'll do the mile. I'll see you back in the next one. Take care. Bye.